Hey there, welcome to this video. I am creating this video to share my opinions to Unity's latest topic and game devs uh, community's latest topic, which is Unity changing and adding some new pricing and uh, just fees for Unity. Now, I am a Unity game dev with more than three years of experience now, and I'm currently working on a game in Unity. Um, Unity has basically introduced a new fee system, which they ask a fee for each install of a game. And it has created this gigantic controversy over to the game developer sphere, and fa and fairly so, because it is it is just such a, a uncomfortable to work with and a bad, just overall bad pricing change. Now, when I say a fee for each install of a game, I mean each install and not each purchase. Basically, uh, what game devs are worried more about is that a game that, even if it's a free game, can basically be uh, charged with a fee for each install of a game. Now, games usually, good games at least, are played multiple times and installed multiple, uh, multiple times by players. And fairly so. I've done it myself many, many times with games. But the biggest part of the worry is that this not only can it be used with malicious intent, where players can, some players can uh, create a basically a program that could install and uninstall and reinstall uh, the game pretty much instantly, multiple times, and that could charge up a, a fee to a gigantic price. It is also about Unity breaching their trust with their community, the very community that has risen them up to where they are now through creating great games such as Hollow Knight, Firewatch, many other games. Many great games have come from this engine. This community has grown so much and is just an amazing community overall in the game data sphere. But unfortunately, Greed has been running Unity for a couple of years now and it has been gradually going to its demise. Now, there has obviously been a great backlash from the game dev community, mainly on YouTube and Twitter. Game devs or game dev companies such as Intersloth, Madison Monster, Agrocraft, and many, many more have responded to this action made by Unity, and Unity's response back was not trustworthy at all. They have been, they pretty much made one tweet, I believe, responding to a certain part of this payment installation and to this payment installation, and it has not really been a satisfying answer. Now, it is sorry to see that game devs are not only switching to other consoles, but game devs that have been working on a certain game for years have now pretty much just have to release it and hope it doesn't get too successful with the installs, which is really absurd to think about. Not only that, uh, a lot of these game companies, game dev companies, have years, at least five years each, uh, of experience in using a certain tool. And it is a it is a great disadvantage to pretty much backtrack and start learning a new engine from scratch because Unity has ruined the trustworthiness and the partnership that they have had with the Unity game devs. Now, I want to share my future of the game of my game dev journey. I'm currently working on a game called Toxic Fish. These first three videos of my channel have been devlogs on this game that I've been working on. But honestly, after this this announcement of Unity, this very unexpected announcement, I am personally thinking of switching to Godot. It, it seems that a lot of these game devs are also doing that, and I'm not just doing that just to kind of go with the flock, I guess, but it is not a bad choice. It's the, the main the main thing about Godot is that it's open source and I don't really have to worry about a, a corporate greedy person just pretty much kicking me in the buttocks just because of their greed and taking away such a good product because of shareholders and because of, of, of greed basically. So yeah, these are my final thoughts. Up until now I have been recommending to I've been recommending Unity to new game devs, but from this point on, to be honest, I it's not even going to come to mind. So, uh, yeah, that was it. That was my opinion on this whole thing. Pretty much the same as every other game devs, and rightfully so. And I hope things get better, but to be honest, even if they reverse this change that they have made, it's never going to reverse the trust that they have lost from the Unity game devs. So, yeah.